I'm Amber and today we're going to look at subtracting 10 on 100 from a number. I'm going to use Dean's to help me and then I'm going to show you by drawing pictures. I have used Dean's to make the number 346. I have used 300 squares for the 300, 4 tens for the 40 and 6 ones for the 6. First I'm going to look at subtracting 10 from a number. If I subtract 10 from this number, I only need to look at the tens column because the hundreds won't change. To subtract 10, I need to take a tens run away. So my number now is 336. To subtract 100, I need to remove 100 square. So my number now is 236. We can also draw a picture to help us understand this. I've drawn out the number 346. To subtract 10, I need to rub out a tens run, which makes my number 336. Then, to subtract 100, I'm going to rub out 100 square. So my number now is 236. This time we're going to look at why sometimes when we t subtract 10 the hundreds also change. My number here is 204. If I want to take away 10 there is a problem. There are no 10s in the 10s column for me to take away. I'm going to exchange one of my hundreds for 10 10s and put them in the 10s column. I'm going to take one ten away. We now have one one hundred, nine tens and four ones. So two hundred and four take away ten equals one hundred and ninety-four. I can also represent this as a picture. I have drawn out the deans for the number two hundred and four. I have no tens to rub out, so I need to exchange one of my hundreds for ten tens and draw them in the tens column. I can now take away one ten. So my number now is 194. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video of something new every week. See you all soon. Bye!